एक्सक्वीज मी एक्सक्यूज मी Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me again doing the things that make for the things to happen. Um wow, okay. My bad, my bad. Okay, so uh as you can see from the title down below, this is another lifestyle, healthy living, healthy thinking video where I'm going to be talking about five habits that completely changed my life some of them are not new some of them are new uh but pretty much five habits that we could all try and incorporate into our lives that honestly when done right change your life for the better when done right change your life for the better so if you guys would like to see what my five habits are then you know <laughs> keep on watching all right so for me i think some of these are not going to be new to you because i have either shown them on my channel i've spoken about them on my social media or my blog i've incorporated them into my life so they might not be new for you but, but for me i feel like videos like this i love to watch them because um i like to know what what it takes to live a better quality of life or what it takes to become a better version of yourself. So, it's one of the reasons why I felt like I really do want to talk about this in this video. So, let's get into it. Uh the first tip for me is going to come as no surprise. No surprise. Drinking water. making water your best friend for me water has been such a game changer in my life okay i've written notes because that's the thing for me okay water has been the biggest game changer in my life i absolutely love it not only does it have the great health properties of course we know most of our body is made up of water but it doesn't necessarily mean that because it's made up of water that you you might you don't have to drink water um uh, but the obvious thing is water is really really great in terms of uh, let me put it simply weight loss for me it was a big game changer in terms of weight loss because for me i increased my water intake from like maybe less than a liter of water a day maybe even 500 ml of water to having over 4 liters of water a day and trust me honey yeah my body says a lot and i actually learned that even from uh like what two years ago when i went to go see a nutritionist and um a dietitian and they told me that water is the biggest game changer when it comes to weight loss but not only that not only that water is really really good at keeping the skin clear it really does wonders for your skin it keeps your skin clear from um you know toxins acne um a lot of swelling it reduces a lot of swelling in your skin it also uh, assists in bowel movements okay let me get a little bit extra it also assists a lot in bowel movements as well it makes you regular basically water aids in making your body regular um uh, and assisting you in terms of you know going to the toilet and all those things it is really really a game changer um if you're not somebody who drinks a lot of water i would suggest but you want to try i would suggest at least anywhere between 1 to 2 liters of water a day would be a great start but you know if you can push it to more than 2 liters of water a day i feel like you are doing the absolute most okay and it will reflect in your skin and how your body is regulated less sun it does the absolute most so for me drinking water was a big plus a big plus um the next thing not a surprise as well eating healthier i mean come on we all know that eating healthier as much as we like to say it and preach it you know eat healthier whatever but we're preaching the truth we're preaching gospel uh eating healthier number 1 reduces your doctor's visits I'm not even going to lie to you because you're eating a lot of good food like your greens, you're getting a lot of fiber in, you're getting a lot of nutrients in, vitamins through your fruits, fiber through your seeds, uh protein, healthy fats through your nuts and avocados, things that typically I mean, don't we all want to just live off eating burgers and pizzas and just live our best lives, but pretty much that will increase 
your doctor's visits. That will increase your acne. That will increase, you know, your body not being regular and regulating itself. So eating healthier definitely re reduces your doctor's visits by a huge margin because I used to go to the doctor a lot but now when I go to the doctor it's either something completely different like it's an earache or I'm going for my sinuses or something just something that's just you know but not just random sickness that I don't know where it comes from no and also eating healthier also helps reduce irritable bowels as well you regulate your body as well it's a really really good way in which you can regulate yourself your body and you feel better good food good healthy food will make you feel nicely satiated you feel good you feel energetic listen it does the absolute most the absolute most okay and Another last part about eating healthier, it helps your immune system. It boosts your immune system. It protects the healthy vitamins and nutrients and, and, and all these wonderful things, fibers, what, 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 what. It actually helps protect your body and build your immune system so that you are more resistant to getting things like the colds and the flus and the whatever. If you're eating the right things, I swear to you, it helps your immune system be that much stronger. So eating healthier, definitely a plus, hun. Definitely a plus. And then the next thing is sleep. So for me, sleep is... <sighs> It's a very contentious issue for me, but it is honestly the truth. When you sleep more, you feel better. You feel better the next day. You are more energetic. You're more aware. You're more focused. You're more, um, just more inclined to be more present and more observant and more, you know, when you sleep, you heal your body a lot quicker as well. So when you're sick, if you sleep a lot more, I mean, doctors don't play. Doctors don't kid around when they say to you, Oh, you've got the flu you know you need to rest you need to get some sleep they are not lying it's the truth if you've got think about when you have an earache but think about when you have an earache or when your body is sore from the gym and whatever and you sleep you wake up feeling so much better because you give yourself through sleep and your body enough time to regenerate, regenerate the cells, regenerate your energy levels, regenerate so many other things, and it helps you become a better person for it. So I highly suggest you just get in some Z's. You see, even now, I want a Z. The biggest game changer for me is definitely working out. I never thought I would be that person who would tell you about going to the gym and tell you about, you know, how I feel, what, what, you know, how people who go to the gym will say, um, yo, after the gym, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a, a hassle to go to the gym, but after the gym, I come out feeling so much better. I come out feeling so much more energetic. I come out feeling great. My body feels great. Blah, blah, blah. Listen, it's the truth. I am a living proof of that. Normally when I go to the gym on my way to the gym, I'm very upset. I'm not okay with it. I need to psych myself up. I need to listen to the good music, to the good vibe, something that's going to get me ready for this gym session, right? But when I leave, I feel so much more energetic than I have felt the whole day. Um, not only is the gym that kind of space for me, but when I'm in there and I am busy there on the indoor cycling spinning machine kind of thing when i'm busy in there i'm i'm not thinking about anything i'm thinking about completing this i'm thinking about sitting on this bike for 20 minutes i'm not thinking about nicks i'm literally clearing my mind and it actually really really helps but at the same time not only clearing my mind when i'm upset the gym is a great relief it's a great reliever Go in there, boxing, work on those machines. I'm like, you are not going to beat me. Hell no. You know, and you actually feel so much better for it when you're done because you're just like, wow, that was an intense session. But I feel so much better. So working out is so great mentally for the mind. It's great for your body physically. It keeps you active. It keeps you, listen, you are running up the stairs, honey. You're not just like, <gasps> And then the last one is more of an emotional, maybe social one in the sense that don't compare yourself 
and don't entertain negative comments your life becomes so much better for it afterwards you don't entertain you don't listen you just don't have time you keep yourself so busy that when somebody wants to run the mill and run their mouth about you and your life and feel like they have an opinion about you and their life when you show them that they are zero to you and your life not only does it affect them negatively because <gasps> you're wasting your time but also it makes you just you don't entertain all that rubbish you you literally uh it makes you s such a better person because you focus more on yourself and building yourself and becoming a better version for yourself of yourself for yourself honey you don't entertain you just choose not to entertain the negative comments you choose you put yourself mentally spiritually in a place where you just choose not to entertain negative comments and in terms of comparing yourself with others the day you stop doing that or trying to stop or trying at least you know obviously we're human we're going to think about it all the time but the day you stop doing that the day you start realizing that my life is for me and my life i'm going to do things that are great for me i'm not going to try and be like naledi or nosipo or dinero or whoever i'm not going to try and be like those people i'm going to try and be like me and be the best version of myself that is that is the day you have reached another complete level of self-awareness and 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 self-appreciation and self-love and self-confidence that no one can ever take away from you once you tell yourself that that's she's got a great life that's her she's got a great life that's her that's not me i've got a great life too but that's not the life that I'm trying to aspire to I'm trying to aspire to living my life the best way I know how and I promise you honey honey is the best of the best honey I'm not even going to lie to you it's the best of the best so yeah that's pretty much it from me I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm going to go now and yeah tell me what habits have changed your life okay okay <laughs> hey baby Hello? Excuse me. Excuse me. Boys, see.